Hello, uh, just another Steve here with uh, Flagship Lab. Today we're going to talk about the Flagship Lab method of using the One Osmus DRAM calculator. So it's not a heavily used thing, getting a new kit of RAM that's a little bit different, like when I got the 16 gigabit DIMM uh, B dies. Yes, I used it. Um, no, it didn't help as much as I thought it would. They're a little bit different. Um, at least the couple samples that I have are requiring more voltage or just not getting as far under the same settings, I guess. I'll say. It also seems to be just a tad bit harder on the IMC, not nearly as much as a dual rank kit would have been, but a little bit. So a dual rank kit of them 16 gigabyte DIMMs would be pretty fun. Uh, anyways, so when you, somebody starts looking into RAM overclocking and the use of the DRAM calculator, uh, there's a couple pieces of software that you're usually pointed to. Mainly Typhoon Burner for getting the information off of your specific kit of DRAM, and it's really just what's in the XMP profile. So it's what's been tested to work with the sticks as configured. It is a good jumping off point, so I'm not going to deny that. I've used it. I've played with it, it gets my seal of approval because what it outputs does generally work. Uh, you know, given other issues here and there that I've seen other people have had, uh, but definitely make sure that your BIOS are update, up to date because um, your SOC performance and stability both depend on some of the bugs being worked out. So, first, we're going to start with the Typhoon Burner. Everybody knows. Pull it up, hit read. Can't say everybody knows because some people might be first timers. We'll see. Pull up your read. You get all your information here. So we've got the 8 gigabit B die dims. Uh, these are single rank. Um, myself looking for where it says because I don't remember. Because once you use this a couple times on a pair of sticks, you really get used to them. And uh, you, you start calculating out some different ranges and you just kind of figure out where they're gonna go so but yeah here's here's your basic information for your sticks uh, now to get your information that you plug into the calculator we'll go down here and you can go the two of you know two ways you can actually export this with this uh, selected here in nanoseconds instead of clock cycles down here at the bottom uh, but you can also literally just open the DRAM calc and plug these in manually. So we'll go ahead and open the DRAM calc. And, uh, yeah, I did preset it to come up blank, but it's still coming up with all the last crap that I plugged in. Okay. So we'll go to, here's blank one, just regular A2 PCB, because that's what we read up here was A2, yep, A2 PCB. So it's, this is your generic output for what most all BDI can do. Uh, but we can set manual here and we can start plugging these in. So 8 for the first one. I'm going to round them, of course. 8.88. That's a weird. I don't think that zero matters, but 88. TRAS was the. We're just going to do 19. TRC, 60. Don't need to be exact. Calculators keeps it within certain limits that you could just then go in and set in the, in your BIOS. So it's not too uh, too terrible. TRC on these sticks is 160. I don't know why it's shown 260. Oh, and the nines. Yeah, no, I know I had shown 260 because that's why I put these sticks in to show you. These are set to just be fast as tits. Just put them in and they go, was it 2225 or something? Or 4500 megahertz DDR. So they're, they're quick, but they're not the most highly optimized. So, you know, when you look at them online, they don't cost you know, three hundred dollars for sixteen gigs. They're like one eighty. 
<laughs> but they're still good sticks. This is, this is the thing. Forget what I'm doing. TRDS. These are both nine, which is really high. They're usually like three and a half, four. T fall was thirty. You know, thirty. Calculate. We get a little bit different. See. 14, 16, 16. What are we on for speed? We're on the Zen Plus also. So you're not going to get that fast out of Zen Plus, but that's a little bit different. Now if we set the Zen 2, it's not too much different. It's actually very much the same. But you're still not going to get that out of a Zen Plus chip. I've seen the most I have seen personally without the use of something like LN2 is like 3500 megahertz and that's not even something that I was able to maintain I've done like 3333 on a kit that I could get about 4200 out of so I, I knew that the sticks could do it but the chip could not so, but we can further refine these so if you say you put these in and you go boot this it works fine you don't have to stop there. We can go ahead and we can try this lower. TRCDWR change to 14. You can go say that one boots. You can try the next one. Eight. Run that. See so our TRFC changed as well as our TRCDRD. changed so we can keep going and you can keep trying to boot these things and you can track these numbers and remember them but eventually you're gonna be like hey I know these sticks these will do this boot them and it's fine so they're not as uh, not as mysterious as you think it's not as hard as you think but it takes a little bit of discovery to figure out what your specific wants and uh, the next time we meet I think we're gonna be in a more uh, vertical position uh, with with Mr. Cell Phone here, but we're gonna cook these on the on the stove, and we're gonna take the the heat spreaders off, and we're gonna prepare them for some sub zero benching. So we'll see you next time. Uh, hopefully, pretty soon. <laughs>